Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of uh, Drop Track. I'm Dan Dupinski. Harold Harilko. Yak Hey! Anyway, as you know, current events being what they are, lots happening in the world. Uh, railroad wise, yeah, uh, CP uh, apparently is locking out their running trades, their train and engine crews, uh, with a $4 billion pension surplus. Uh, the company is experiencing what they call a holiday, so they're not contributing their portion, only the employees are. Apparently it's funded to a level of 145%, but their response to the bargaining that's been going on is to lock their employees out. Ah, it's a mystery to me how these minds work. I don't know. Anyway, we're not really here to talk about trains today. We wear our hearts on our sleeves. On our chests. Yeah, ghost of China. Our motherland. Yeah, I mean, Ukraine. you know what? i uh, tell you what. I got Those Russians check Hey, I got a shout out to a fellow here. And this is what we're dealing with here. We've got a David and Goliath situation writ large. Anyway, Vassal Stefko, 55 years old, double amputee. That means he doesn't have portions of both his legs. Vassal, 55 years old, most guys and gals on pension on the beach. He's out there. He's signed up again with the 128th Mountain Infantry Division Brigade. And he is protecting the brave men, women, children of Ukraine. Uh, it's, it's bad. He's uh, bad. You know, uh, we're going to be straight with you here. We have uh, our ancestral homeland is the glorious country of Ukraine, which is a real country, unlike Russia, which is basically all built on fake bullshit and lies, but I won't go any further with that. Uh, Russia, Moscow was a swamp in the 12th, 13th century, and they had monasteries in Kiev. That's all I'm going to say about that. I mean, you know, anyway, we're going to be back oh. rolling with the train shit, but right now people are losing their lives and, you know. Let's turn our thoughts and our prayers. That's right. To the people of Ukraine. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, and wishing an to this, uh, yeah. into this unfortunate uh, situation. Some people, it's like, it's like 1939 all over again. It really you know, is. Kind of fucking, at least, at least the last guy could grow a fucking mustache. I tell you. this guy. He's like Porky Pig with the face of a hedgehog. I watched, a, I watched a documentary and the guy goes into the KGB office. He's 16 years old. And Putin goes in there and goes, how do I join up? And they tell him, come back later. Wow. We give you a pair of blue jeans. Yeah, as we know, he came back later. That's the guy who, him and his cronies, orchestrated the bombings of all those apartment buildings mm. yeah. in Moscow. To blame it on Chechnya so they could start a war with Chechnya oh, yeah, yeah, you bet. to put off the election. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know how I feel. Uh, another, you know nothing what? you can do about it. It's like the, uh, the, uh, the serenity prayer, you know? Yeah. yeah. This too shall pass. It, it will. It will. The world is, uh, yeah. Anyways, all the best to everybody. Daj Boże. Slava Ukraini. Do popatrzenia. Don't forget. Stay safe. Oh, well, uh, yes, yes, yeah, remember. Well, you know, he's always locked and loaded. Yep. Children of steel.